Hi, Dave here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to basic MIDI map in Tractor Pro 3 using the Akai LPD-8. Let's take a look. First thing we're going to do is go up to our preferences and we're going to click effects. We want to go over and choose the four effects units here. So as you can see, they pop up. Just bear in mind that you can't see what's underneath here. So if I go back to two, you can see that these have got reset and spread and other bits and pieces over here is freeze and spread. So they will disappear once you put it into four effects units. So make sure you know what they are before you change them. Otherwise you just will be like pressing random buttons. Then what we can do is go down to our control manager. And this is where the magic happens. This is the brain of the operation. This is where all the MIDI mapping happens. So don't get too scared. I'm just going to show you how to do something basic. And if we make a mistake, we can delete it at the end. So it's not a problem. First thing we're going to do is go to add and we're going to go to generic MIDI. Then we're going to go to our ins and out ports and select our LPD8. Okay, so that's over there as well. And now we start MIDI mapping. So what we want to do is we're going to go to add in and you will get used to some of these. Some of them are crazy and I'm still learning my way around them as well. So don't worry, but let's just stick to the ones we're going to do. So the effects units. Now this is the unit on and the wet dry three knobs and three buttons. That's all we're going to concentrate on today. So we've got our unit on. So we're going to click unit on. That's it. Now unit on will be our button over here. So the next thing I'm going to do is click learn. Now what I'm going to do is unit on is going to be button one and then the three buttons here, which will replicate over here, the shape feedback, etc. And then the rotaries will be the wet and dry and then the same parameters for the three buttons. So we're going to click learn and then our button. You can notice that it does pop up there and then we're going to unlearn. Get used to turning off the learn straight away. Otherwise, if you accidentally press another button or knock something, it's going to map something else by accident. The next thing we're going to do is assign it to our effects. So we're looking at effects units three at the moment. And then our interaction mode is on toggle. Now you can have it on hold, um, but toggle means I can now turn it on and off. So if you look up here, you can see the flanger is going on and off. If I had it on hold, obviously I'd have to hold it. And that is your first mini mapping. Now we're going to go down and go on to the next thing, which is our button one. I'm going to stick with all the buttons first. Learn, button one, take off learn, change the toggle, then change the unit three. Again, if you look up the shape, it's on. Now that is our reset button. So just so you know, again, what I mentioned before, don't be scared when you press that and it all changed. That's our reset button. That's to do with our save snapshot. Then we're going to go down. Button two, learn, button two, next units three, toggle, etc. And I'm going to quickly do the next one. Button three, learn, effects units three, and toggle. So now we have all our buttons toggling on and off on our effects units, which is fantastic. That's what we want. Okay. Next, we're going to do in the rotaries. So we're going to go down to effects units. Wet dry adjust is our first rotary. We're going to learn and that is our rotary there. Take it off. And this time we don't even need to change the toggle. We can just select that. Again, if you look at the top, our wet and dry is moving in and out, which is fantastic. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing for our other ones. So knob one, learn is there. Next three, you get the idea. Two. There. And then the last one is there. And I'm going to change that. I'm going to speed it up, but I'm going to do exactly the same thing for the bottom row as well for FX4. So I'll see you in a minute. And there we go. So we've now got our delay over on the right hand side and flanger over on the left. So let's just have a bit of a play. It's 
working exactly how we want it to. All the buttons work and I'm happy with that. Remember, if you do want to change anything, you can just go back in, you can go into Control Manager, select your generic MIDI there, and you can go into anything and tweak it, delete it, change it, whatever you want to do. Remember, this is the basic one, but this is to get you going and it's to show you that it isn't as scary as you may think. We can get more complicated once we start adding the shift button and modifiers, but until then, have a play and remember, you can't get anything wrong because if you're worried about it, all you need to do is press edit, delete, and you can remove the whole thing and start all over again. Have a play, be creative, have fun, and I'll see you next time.